Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Phone Central. I just want to give you guys a quick look here at the official DIFM app coming to Windows Phone 8. It is currently in beta right now, so I'm just going to give you guys a quick little tour of it. For those of you who don't know what DIFM is, it stands for Digitally Imported. Uh, think of it sort of like a Pandora radio station, Spotify service, but it's purely dedicated to electronic music. And if you're not familiar with electronic music, there is a lot of it out there, including so many categories, it'll blow your mind. Here's the app itself, it loads very quickly. Um, you know, up until now, Windows Phone users have been using Beam, which is a fantastic app, and in some ways is still better than the official DIFM app. But this app actually does bring some unique features, and I'll show you those here. Uh, first of all, you have your favorites. This does sync up between various phones. So if I were to launch my service on another Windows phone, these would sync over, which is kind of nice. Here are all the categories for the electronic music on here, of which, of course, there are a ton of them. And if you don't want to just do that way, you can go by styles. It's nicely laid out here. Uh, you have new, trance, dance, house, lounge, chill out, techno. And you see the little number there. It tells you the amount of stations, and you can kind of go through and see them there uh, so that is pretty nice and then you have your favorites and all again uh, clicking this button here it'll show you your premium status uh, premium basically difm is a free service but if you pay extra you get higher bit rate for music streaming uh, and no ads in both in streaming and the app itself um, i pay for it because i use difm both on windows 8 there's a nice uh, third-party app there and my computer and various clients and i enjoy it a lot so i give them money um, but you can see you can log in and it'll reflect that information which is really nice um, when you go into settings, you'll see this even more here by hitting bandwidth settings. And you have two options. You have your mobile network and Wi-Fi. And when you're on premium, you can choose if you want medium high or really high, 256, or even disabled. That's actually a really nice feature. Uh, so you don't ever have to worry about accidentally streaming on your data plan. Uh, under Wi-Fi, same thing. You get all those choices. And as you can see, I choose high 256 because I like listening to my music at quality levels. And obviously Wi-Fi doesn't cost anything. Uh, you have your other settings here and send beta feedback, as you can see. Uh, overall, you have data usage monitoring, I'll show you in a moment, and power management. So how's it all work? Uh, we'll go over to my favorites here, and we'll just do chill out, and we'll tap the screen, and you'll see here it load up. And there it goes, chill out. Now, what's really cool, as you can probably see here, is this little graph, right? Uh, so that is basically the buffering meter. So it's a good measurement of, to see how well your network is handling the stream. Obviously, this was only one or two bars. I'd probably want to downgrade the quality, um, you know, so it doesn't skip and uh, pause during playback. But as you can see, I got full bars, basically. So streaming at 256 is pretty good. And it tells you, in fact, that it is streaming at 256. Let me zoom in a little bit there, and you can get a better look at it. Um, and probably the other really cool thing you can see right next to it is in megabytes. That's the amount of data that I've actually consumed. Uh, that is pretty cool. And I've only probably played this about 15 to 20 minutes, maybe. And you can see I'm already up to 60 megs, which is goes to show you how much... Uh, data this can actually consume but overall it's a pretty cool thing uh, you can also hit the share button and it's going to allow me to go share to twitter facebook whatever i have connected up here and you can see it even says my windows phone uh, gives you the currently the station that's playing uh, if you don't want to do the station you can actually share the song that's playing which is also kind of a um a nice little feature you know i'm always a big fan of the social network interaction here. Uh, and then you have your track history, which goes to show you uh, stuff that's already been playing. Other than that, it's a pretty straightforward version of DIFM, which shows your current playing list and everything else. You do have your favorite button there. And there is a sleep timer, which is pretty cool. So you see the sleep timer, and you can set for how long. And then, of course, it'll fade off and disable itself, which is really good for those of you guys who like to fall asleep to techno music. Uh, but that is basically DIFM. DI uh, hopefully there'll be other features coming. I'd like to see the ability to pin uh, a station to my start screen. Currently, you have move up, move down, remove from favorites, but no ability to pin. That seems like a trivial thing, and I bet they will have it by the final release. But overall, you know, DIFM, uh, it's great to see them have an official app coming to Windows Phone. And so far, they've done an excellent job of it. I'm really looking forward to making use of this. We'll, of course, keep you posted when the final version goes public. And head to Windows Phone Central for more information. Take care, everybody.